This is Jupiter Today for the 19th of March, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. Today there's two Jupiter satellite events and zero satellite mutual events. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant four, heading east. Europa starts in quadrant three, heading west and Ganymede and Callisto are at their western elongations and going to both be moving into quadrant four heading east. At 318 UTC, EO moves behind Jupiter. From Earth's point of view, this blue line is the line of sight to the Earth and this gray line is the line of sight to the Sun. At six hours UTC, EO is now successfully moved behind Jupiter and is now in quadrant one heading east and by 12 hours UTC EO is near its eastern elongation still in quadrant one heading east Europa has just passed its western elongation and is now in quadrant four heading east By 18 hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant two, heading west. At 1840 UTC, Europa goes through a perigove. That's the closest it's gonna be to Jupiter in this orbit. And that's 664,888.3 kilometers. And then at 1909 UTC, EO goes through a perigove. And that's 420,027.4 kilometers. And by zero hours UTC tomorrow, EO is still in quadrant two, heading west, going to be transiting Jupiter soon. Europa and Ganymede and Callisto are all in quadrant four, heading east. Orbital ribbons for today. These are the spatial and temporal connections between the four Galilean moons. So here's the connection between Io and Europa, Io and Ganymede, Io and Callisto, Europa and Ganymede, Europa and Callisto, and finally Ganymede and Callisto. I'm going to combine all these and colorize them and remove the line showing the orbits and we get that for today. Twenty four hours of Jupiter sky. can see Europa and Ganymede and Callisto all together there. be amazing to actually see that in the sky. Maybe someday we will. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian three times today, first at 118, second at 1114, and the third at 2109 UTC. There were no new images, but there was a new set of radio data posted.
and there were no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 3 minutes, 12.5 seconds, and a declination of positive 17 degrees, 50 minutes, 11.4 seconds. The angular separation of Jupiter from the Sun, as seen from Earth, is 135.192 degrees, and that's 1.061 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle today is 7.544 degrees, and that's 0.145 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth is 686,969,523 kilometers, and that's 1,676,916 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday, and that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 69,871.5 kilometers per hour, and that's 1,327.08 kilometers per hour faster than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 799,518,486 kilometers, and that's 44,467 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,852.79 kilometers per hour, and that's 6.38 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1 343.22 degrees, CM2 51.2 degrees, CM3 330.44 degrees. The time of this recording is. 0 hours 38 minutes UTC on the 19th of March 2015. So please subscribe and thank you to everyone who has pushed that subscribe button. You can also like this video and you can send your images and comments and questions to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.